I have all all kinds of Veterans Day facts today, but we'll we'll, we'll get to that later. Want to do that later? A lot of celebrity veterans. Yeah. Huh? Elvis was one. Can you name a couple others? Ted Williams. Ted Williams. Ted Williams. Maximus. Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I didn't have them on my list. Montel Williams. Yeah. How about that one? He went to Navy. Is that true? Yeah, he was a Marine. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he's Joe Lewis. Got to have him. Chuck Norris, Air Force. Tony Bennett. That'd be right up your alley. Tony Bennett, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not with that look that you're giving me. Mel Brooks. Huh? Wouldn't have thought of him. MC Hammer. Had him on my list, too. He was in, he was in the Navy, too. Okay, I guess we should talk hockey, not <laughs> Veterans Day. Although, I do have one other hockey-related tip that I didn't know. You know, Kate Smith, in 1938, on this day in 1938, saying, God bless America. So she went on to... Help the Flyers win Stanley Cup, singing God Bless America. This is the date she first sang it? First sang it on this date in 1938. How about that? Great stuff for you, Scott. <laughs> oh, we're on the air. Sorry. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, hockey. I think we're here to talk about hockey. Um, New Hampshire. Lots of good stuff took place in our play during the weekend. It was, was kind of an interesting weekend, actually. I thought we actually played better overall Saturday night than we did Friday. I thought the ice, uh, the big ice surface, took some time to adjust to. That was, it seemed bigger than we played uh, on other big surfaces. And it um, seemed like we were a little hesitant in situations to, uh, whether it was in our forecheck, in our defensive zone play. And I thought uh, it took us a little while to adjust. But in the end, coming out of it with a split, uh, first of all, I think their team's a lot better than their record indicates. I thought, uh, I thought that going in, and I know that coming out. Uh, I think their goaltending has struggled early in the season, and uh, their Saturday night goaltending was excellent. I thought it, it may have been the difference in the game because um, I thought we had better scoring chances on Saturday night that we didn't convert. And... Um, as I talked to the team, I really talked to them about kind of owning certain moments and winning certain moments. Friday night, we won those key moments. Saturday night, we didn't. And uh, even though I thought our, our full body of work was probably a little bit better on Saturday night. So as a result, we get out of there with a, with a split. We were really hoping, uh, especially after Friday night's game, that we could come out with, uh, with a sweep. Um, but again, two good, two good games for us. Um, we continue to get better. We continue to get lots of scoring chances. Uh, we just have to get better at uh, converting them. I think uh, special teams-wise, we made progress. That our power play moved the puck around real well. Uh, we got, uh, what do we get, one power play goal on the weekend. Uh, we gave up one, oh, two, two, that's right, two power play goals on the weekend. We gave up uh, one power play goal to them and shut them down on Saturday night, which was good. So we continue to be hovering around that 90% uh, efficiency rate in our in our PK, and uh, now we focus our attention on Boston College. Very skilled, highly talented, very deep, uh, fast puck possession team, and uh, I would uh, compare them probably much to uh, what we saw against uh, Boston University. I think pretty similar in that regard. And they'll be awful hungry because they're coming off some losses. So, with that. I'll put my uh, Veterans Day facts away and fire away, Fred. He's at Michigan Saturday? No. Uh, why? <clears throat> no, why they're just playing. Why they, don't they spend the money? Why don't they stay for two games? I don't know. I don't know. We, we had hoped uh, to do two games, actually, but they, they, they prefer to just play one game, so they're coming out just for one game. Because a lot of the scheduling we've done East has been with Michigan, actually, where we could play two different opponents when possible. We did that with UMass Lowell. And BU, uh, Michigan flip flopped with us, but uh, BC didn't want to do that. You have no idea why. No, I think it's a philosophy in their scheduling that uh, they they prefer at times to play single games as opposed to series. When you look at them, eighth in the country, but they're at 500. Explain that, would you? Well, I think uh, a lot of it starts from the pre you know the. 
preseason, and they returned a lot of players that that team was in the Frozen Four last year with a young team. So expectations are very high. They're very skilled. And so I think they've probably gotten off to a little slower start than they had hoped. And, you know, early in the season, you have, you, you have teams kind of shaking things down based on, you know, their strength of schedule. Some leagues have already played league games. We haven't played any. Um, but they're all of an eighth-ranked team. They're, they're very talented. And then you mentioned about, you know, playing on the bigger ice surface. I understand that, you know, obviously it's different than football and basketball. I can only imagine what it would be like to go to a place and have a bigger court or field. But moving forward in new arenas, would you like to see the NCAA come down with some type of, okay, moving forward, if you're in an old arena, we'll let it go. But if you're building a new one, you go with a certain size. Would that help you? Or do you kind of like that you never know what you're going to get? You know, I, I don't think it would be, as far as the ice surface is concerned, I guess I have mixed feelings on it. Um, I, I can see where having something standardized would make sense moving forward, maybe a little bigger than what's typical at 85 feet, maybe going to 90. That's what I know Notre Dame's new facility is. I think um, Wisconsin's a little bigger than that. BU's was like 90 or 92. So that might make sense. But it is a big adjustment. I think where the NCAA has adjusted is we don't play NCAA tournament games on a big sheet like that because that's a – pretty radical change from playing on an 85 foot wide uh, sheet all season so while I say that one of the things that I miss in watching NHL hockey is the nuances of the building because everything's been standardized so you know you used to go to the old Boston Garden and it was this small rink that was tough to play in and I kind of I kind of miss some of that and yet um, at the same time I could see why it would make sense to standardize it. Could you elaborate on talk to your team about owning key moments? Well, we just we, we tried to take away lessons learned, both you know out of winning and, and losing. And frankly, Friday night we talked about that very thing. Uh, we talked about that uh, you know there were parts of our game that could be better. Our goalie had to make some really key saves and uh, at key moments in, in a couple instances. And uh, we went and capitalized at the right time. We you know we scored a short short-handed goal on Friday night. Um, those are momentum shifts. And so the real focus was uh, how you never know when those moments are going to come up or when those moments are, are going to take place. So you have to be ready at all times for those moments. And whether you're a player who's playing 22, 26, 28 minutes a night or you're a player who's sitting on the bench for the better part of two, two periods and then all of a sudden, boom, you've got to go in and play an important role. Uh, you've got to be ready for that. And so really we, we funneled that back to how important practice is and how practice is what prepares you for those key moments when they may come up. So we talked about it on Friday. We also talked about really uh, a reversal of the weekend before. And what I thought, not to the same degree, but um, if I was UNH after Friday night, I would have told our team, their team, Hey, do it. Do what we're doing. Stay with it, and you know we'll see if things can change on Saturday night because they produce some pretty good scoring chances and and so on. And I said we have to be ready for that, so we have to be better. And I did think we were better, but we didn't win those key moments when they came up. They were pretty opportunistic in uh, the scoring chances that they had, and they were good scoring chances. Uh, it wasn't goaltending; it was they were good scoring chances. We had breakdowns, and they took advantage of it. You you hope that. When you break down, somehow you can overcome it, and that night we didn't. You'd like to be 8 no. You're 3 and 5. What in your mind do you think you should be? Well, this is what we've earned so far, so we have to live with it. But uh, I think we're a lot better team record-wise than our record indicates. I, I think our challenge is just is, is finishing. Uh, the good news is we are generating more scoring chances than we have in recent years. And that's a good thing. We're going to keep building on it. And we're doing it against good teams and good defensive teams. So I don't think that's a fluke. And just it will take just a matter of time till those pucks start going in. And so I could speculate on what I think we could be. I tell my wife that, but uh, there's no sense in speculating that with you at this point. Why do you think it's only a matter of time? 
Because I think we're gaining experience. I, I think that uh, the game slows down for you as you gain experience. And so now, rather than try to hurry your shot, you, you, you have a better sense that you've got that split second of time. Like we, we had a really good chance on the power play uh, early in that game on um, Saturday night. And we had enough time to catch the puck and shoot it. Instead, we chose to one-time it, and we stuffed it into a defender when we had an open net. I think those things are going to come as we, we continue to practice, guys gain more experience, and little successes help build confidence. And those are the things that we're talking about. we got to have these little successes to, to build confidence. So now that net looks more like a 4 by 8 rather than a 4 by 6 Oh yeah, well, you try to set up different circumstances, and and uh, you know the, the the more you can practice things, the, the the more confidence you can get there, and then the game everything happens a little quicker. You guys had a lot of success on the power play last weekend, getting two power play goals. What's changed in the power play to enable you guys to have this this success, especially Mike Ferentino being a uh, the new quarterback of the of the power play, if you will. I think there's a couple things. Uh, one is that uh, we're we're trying we're really trying to stabilize our lines, and we're trying to stabilize the people we're using on both special teams. Now we did make some tweaks and changes, but we're we're trying to use the same people as much as possible to give them that experience that I was just referencing to Fred. Uh, so that's number one. Number two is um, that sheet of ice gives you a little more space to both bring the puck into the zone and then settle the puck down, s settle their defense down, um, and and start your attack. And so being on that sheet, it's a little harder to kill penalties at the same time. So I thought we did a real good job moving the puck, and I think that will be a confidence boost for our guys um, against a good penalty kill team. They were 92 93%. So, uh, I don't think that was a fluke. So I think we're just gaining experience and gaining some confidence and now having a little success that's helping feed some confidence, and we just have to stay with it. Two-part, this is a very good freshman class for you. Would you assess how you think they are, you know, being eight games in? Yeah, it is it is very good, and uh, I think uh, things have progressed pretty well. I think uh, Josh Jacobs is, uh, you know, is getting better uh, every week, and like every freshman, he has his moments up and down, but um, you know he's seeing lots of minutes, and, and we're pleased with his progress. Uh, Carson Gatt has uh, really progressed well. He's playing meaningful minutes, and he's been a very consistent, um, quietly a consistent performer. He's not flashy. He moves the puck very efficiently. He's real smart. He defends well. So um, he hasn't surprised us. And yet, um, I think he's he's making a nice transition in the role that he's playing. Uh, Ed Minnie hasn't played yet, and uh, and Pav Dylan Pavlik, he had a concussion, so it's been a little bit of a setback for him. I thought he started well, and uh, he, you know he's he's recovered from the concussion. He just hasn't had an opportunity to get back in the lineup now. So um, we're we're pleased with the group. Do you want a redshirt mini, or will you play him? No, our our intention will will be to play him. We're, we're just kind of taking it. At, you know, a week at a time as we go. But as he progresses, we want to make sure he's ready to play. And we don't have in the back of our mind any plans to, to redshirt. Uh, just right now, Hildy is clearly our number one goalie, and that's who we're going with. And then eight games in, what are you most pleasantly surprised with, and what are you most disappointed in? Well, I'm most disappointed that we couldn't take some of these close games and turn them into to wins. Uh, and I'm... Well, we haven't scored at the rate I'd like to see us score. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the work habits of our team. I like the dynamics that are emerging within the team. I like the chemistry of the team. We, we really have a, a really good group of kids. And uh, I, I like offensively how we're gradually coming together. Uh, I, I would like to see the productivity take that next step. That's what we're waiting on. But what we're generating really good scoring chances. We're possessing the puck better than we have since I've been here. And we're not where we want to be, but clearly in following it, we're on the track that we want to be on. Do you think, going back to uh, Dylan Pavlik, do you think he will play this Friday against BC? <clears throat> I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know. We, we uh, The travel schedule on the weekend was um, pretty demanding, not just the games, but uh, guys were up early to leave on Thursday and real early to leave to come home on Sunday. So I gave uh, our team an optional skate yesterday. 
probably better than half our guys actually skated. And so today is the first day that we're coming back as a group, and he'll be back on a line. And <clears throat> we're shifting his position from center, moving him over to right wing. I think asking a freshman uh, to play center is pretty demanding at this level, and I think it allows for a little easier transition if you start on the on the wing. And so uh, we started him at center. I think we want to help him kind of move along and move him to right wing. There's less responsibility defensively. And so today really will be his first day playing right wing, you know, with contact at, at, at full speed since he's been injured. This year you've kind of taken the Izzo approach when he was rebuilding Spartan basketball and playing anybody anywhere. You seems like you've littered your schedule with the big ones. Do you find I don't know that, what I was thinking, but yes. But you also took a huge step last year going from the CCHA to the Big Ten. Do you think it's going to help you more in Big Ten this year that you've played the schedule that you are in the preseason? I do. I, I do. You know, you, you hope to be able to come out of this preseason, or it's not really preseason, but non-conference season, uh, with, with a level of confidence to move into your, your conference schedule. And um, so – we should see in our non-conference schedule everything that we're going to see in the Big Ten. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll play tough road games. We'll play fast teams. We'll play very defensive-oriented teams. We'll play deep teams. We'll play highly skilled teams. So from that regard, I think our schedule is just ideal. You know, it's, it's demanding, um, and, and we want to come out of it with a, a record of success. But at the same time, we, we developed it partly for recruiting, partly for preparation of our conference schedule, and I think it's meeting all of those expectations so far. I wouldn't change it, a thing that we did. Yes, I will recruit Saturday, and uh, I think we'll probably practice on Sunday. We have a shorter week next week, so I, th I think I'll go recruiting Saturday. And uh, Sunday... Or Sunday we'll practice because we leave. We play next week, Thursday, Friday. So we'll leave. Uh, we'll go to school. We'll practice. And then next Wednesday night we'll bust down to Ohio State. So, yeah. This past Sunday I, I stayed uh, in Boston. I had a chance to watch my daughter play. So that was kind of neat. That's probably the only chance I'll get all year. Score? She did. Yeah. Yeah, she did. I could use her. <laughs> Got a nice touch around the net. <laughs> is Mrs. Scandalaris going to be in house on Friday? Yeah, you know, I, I haven't spoken to them. I haven't seen them since because uh, I've been gone. I wasn't back for football. But uh, he's referencing she's never lost a game, I guess, that she's been to. So I want to have her a season ticket holder here and get to every game. <laughs> she was a good luck charm that night. Script or helmet jerseys on Friday? We're going to go with our script. Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I decide. Usually we, uh, if we play two games on the weekend, I go with a script on, uh, on Saturday night or the second game. This week, given that we're only playing one, I know the guys really like, like wearing those. And uh, given kind of the history and tradition of the series with BC, I thought it made some sense. So we've got some new signage going up in the building this week. Uh, if you walk down our hallway, you'll see some, some historical photos that are going on the walls now. And, and upstairs, they're working on our NHL um, history and, and our team, our current team. And uh, so I felt a little bit nostalgic, I guess, and thought we'd go with the script. Do we have one up of you? Oh, I think it is down. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. All good?